Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look here at the effect of a channel mixer when it is looked at with the lens of the color wheel, where we've got the colors from you know, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta in a circular way, which is often a way that we look at color. So let's get going. What I'm going to do to look at it, I'm going to use drag from up here because this is the, shows you the colours and it's got the red, green and blue in here. So you can see at the bottom R is zero there, green is 255, which is the maximum. So when we're down here, red is zero. As we come around here, look, red is now increasing. See, it's 43, 50 and so on. And the reason it is there and it doesn't look like it's there, only looks like red is at the top but it is there because it's turning the green into a yellow, because red and green make yellow. Until you get up to around the yellow here, and that's where you'll get the point where they are at the maximum point. The red and green will both be at the maximum. That will give you the maximum yellow. And then you get them around here, and green drops off till you've got pure red at the top. Then you go into the blues here, around here. As you see, red is 255, for quite a long way around. And it starts dropping off as we go around here and only disappears when you get around to the pure blue. So what you've got is red going all that period, that whole, you know, two thirds of the, the circle. We get other effects as well, so which we can look at. So if we grab this, as we go around to here, see red is decreasing here, but it gets to a point here where it, it is actually an interesting point here where it goes from 123, it goes through 128, which is a kind of its halfway mark. And that's where it starts to get more significant, have a, a, an increasing effect. So you can put a, a segment there. So in here, red is more than 128. It's over halfway up. Then we look further around. And once we get past the yellow there and all the way around to the magenta, this area here, red is 255. It's the maximum. It cannot be increased anymore. That's, so that's kind of important. And then as we come up here again, we get through the orange and you see green at a point here, the green drops off. Red is still 255, but green is dropping and dropping. So there's a point here where green, which is influencing it, goes below 128, so it becomes less significant. Similarly with blue that side, so we can put another slice in there. And we can put one more at the top, because in here that's the line, where only that line you've got red is 255 and blue and green are zero. So let's have a look at the channel mixer and how it affects this. Uh, I said before, and it's worth repeating, when I've got red up here, and the output channel, then I'm only ever going to change red, the color red within this. It's actually going to leak outside here, so almost all the way around you can get red because it can turn it up from zero where there's no red, it can put red in. Because when you're changing the green slider, you are increasing the red, you know, from the RGB in every single pixel, you're changing that red in proportion to how big the green is. The bigger the green, the bigger the red change is going to be. But it means you can say where there is, there is red, change red. Where there is green, change red. Where there is blue, change red. So if I start from here and start turning this up, look at what happens. Can you see that there going up and down there? As I go upwards, the magenta and the yellow sort of push downwards to about that sort of like 180 degree uh, arc there. So let's have a quick look at that again. So when we started off, you know, green, red, red was going up to 255 there, down to below 128. Uh, sorry, green, green changes down there. As we go upwards here, now if you have a look at this again, now when we're here, we've got red and green, both 255. So we've got a, a pure yellow, much more of it with just a pure yellow. So turning the red up 
you know, makes your eye, it increases the magenta and the yellow. Turning it down, it removes the red. So until we get to zero, and zero means zero red, there is now no red at all being shown in the picture. If you want to take out all red, that's what you do. Going below makes no difference because there's nothing there. If we look at the green, and you get the same effect by doing the blue, if we start from zero here, if we turn up green, look at what happens here. The green disappears. How can we turn up the green and the green is disappearing? Well, it's not disappearing because it's simply combining with the red. So where there is green, it adds more red. And red and green together make yellow. So let's have a look at that. So I drag down here. Here we see we've got red is 255, green is 255, and now we've got quite a lot of yellow. So turning up the green there, we're actually increasing the amount of yellow. See that? So this is the effect. And if you go further again, look at the way at the bottom, it's going into the blue now. We're pushing red into the blue, and that's because there is green in that blue, and where there is green, it is putting more red and increasing the red quite a certain amount so that the the blue and the red become dominant now so it pushes that all the way up and if we look at that down there see down here green is 151 but red is pushed up to 255 because it's in proportion to the green it's pushed it quite far and so red and blue are the dominant colours there, so you're getting a combination of Ajanta, and the green is being, you know, visually being taken away. And if we go down below zero, see it go, it's creeping up to there. So at zero, down here after the yellow, see green gradually drops off there, but red is 255 up there as well. So let's see what happens when we decrease the green there. So curiously, decreasing the green, getting more green. Because what we're doing below zero, we're taking away red. So when we take away red, like here we've got red. See, red is down to 26 there. It was 255 all the way up here. We've turned it down. And which means that in proportion to the green, it's dropping off here. So we're sucking red out where there is green. So, so we had a bit of green, you're making it more green by taking away the red. And if you take, go down further, it goes into this top segment up here. So now we've got up here, see where green was below 128, but it still has some effect. In red is now, see, decreasing. It only ever goes up to 255 when it gets to the very, very top. So look at that effect you have with the green from pushing the green disappears and because you're changing red up, you're increasing red where there's green, more when there is more green. And going down, you're taking red out where there's green, so more green appears where there is red, at least in some part within the colour. So you get a huge effect on this. You can do the same thing with blue, just very quickly as you turn this up. You can see there that the magenta turns up because you're adding more red, which is joining with the blue to become magenta. And so this is this is like with this, you've got a magenta control, but with the blue in the red. I know it's confusing, isn't it? But there we go. But you'll get used to it when you start playing with it more. OK, I'm going to stop there. I've gone on for longer than I normally go on because it's such a an important subject. Once you've got the hang of the channel mixer, it's amazing the things that you can do with it. And I must admit, I am still learning, but it's worth the effort. Thank you very much for watching.